Welcome lovely Aquarius to your general timeless reading. I will begin your reading with Crystal Scrying, continuing on with the Tarot, Oracle, and I also have made some Halloween symbolic cards for you as well. Let's go ahead lovely Aquarius and see what Spirit has in store. Holy Spirit, Holy Divine, all who are with me in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please give me clear understanding, clear communication and interpretation skills, to bring forth truth, love, and the most important information that Aquarius needs to know for this general timeless reading. Please, Spirit, thank you. Here. Okay. Thank you. Who is Aquarius? What is this? Oh, Aquarius. Okay. There's a wolf. A sneaky wolf. Okay, Aquarius. Be very careful at this time. If you are planning on purchasing anything, uh, signing any kind of legal documents, make sure that you know every single meaning to every word, every sentence before you sign anything. Okay. What I'm seeing here is now I want to I want to say this. Most salespeople are not tricky, okay, not tricksters, but I have met a few in my life and that's what I'm getting what I'm getting ready to describe to you, so please don't think that I think all salespersons are like this because they're not, okay? This is just an example. What I'm seeing here is there's a wolf, uh, Aquarius, you're coming through as a feminine energy, not gender specific. The wolf has a very um, trickster type, sweet, yeah, look to this person's face, but at the same time, very um, like I'm really up to something here. And Aquarius, you're looking at this wolf like, oh, let me do this. Oh, I believe you. No, 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 Aquarius. Okay, now behind you, Aquarius, there is also another person that's peeping their head around you, looking at that wolf with a shocked look on this person's face. Okay, like, oh, like, oh no, you know. So listen. I would definitely make sure if you are signing or buying anything uh, substantial, make sure that uh, you even have another person to take a look at it with you to make sure you're not missing something. Make sure you understand everything 100%. Even go to someone, you know, if you can go to an attorney, uh, but do something to make sure that before you sign or purchase this, whatever this could be, if you're not planning on purchasing something, some of you could be planning on moving, renting somewhere, something like that, okay? Um, some of you may be um, getting ready to sign an agreement for a new job. Uh, the list could go on and on, okay? So enrolling in school, whatever. Make sure you understand every single thing before you sign, okay? Because there's something... There's something tricky here going on. All right, Spirit, please give me more for Aquarius. Here. Thank you. Who is Aquarius? Okay, nice. Oh, very nice. Okay. Aquarius, you are coming through as a masculine now. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. You're looking at a bunny rabbit, and you you have, like, a look on your face like you're just like, ugh, at this rabbit. Now, a rabbit is symbolic for abundance, uh, fast or quick manifestation, okay? Um, fast multiplying. But you're looking at it like, oh, you know, like, why? Why won't you do this? So I feel like, Aquarius, some of you have been having um, some kind of issue with manifesting something. 
lightly or you're getting ready to step into that energy. Now, here's the thing, Aquarius. Above you is like this tree branch, okay? And there are lines of owls sitting right above your head. Owls, wisdom, okay? So, I feel like, Aquarius, this is something, there's something that has to do with your abundance in some form. Now, it doesn't have to mean just money. This could be in different areas. This could be love. This could be, um, of course, it can be money, financial. But it doesn't have to be. I mean, it could be something like uh, finding balance in your life, you know, whatever. But there's something here to where it's like you're not being successful at something. And you're looking at it like, oh, frustrated, like, you know, I've tried everything I know to do. So I feel like with all of these owls that are above your head, you're not seeing them, okay? Because you're focused on what's in front of you. But Spirit's telling you that um, you need to look up. You need to, in other words, you need to research. There's something here you're missing, Aquarius. You need to find out more information on. It could be talking to other people that have more expertise in a certain area. It could be researching. I mean, you know, we can find just about any information we need now online. Um, of course, you always want to be careful with that too, right? But, um, you know, I do, I, I do really feel and am seeing there's more information you need to obtain than what you have, okay, to help you to be successful with whatever this rabbit would mean in your life. Yeah, because the owls are looking down at you, Aquarius, like, come on, look up here. Come on, just look up, just look up. So I'm feeling like, look up, like, look up, like research, okay? All right, let's go ahead and go to the symbolic cards and see what spirit has spirit holy divine please give me the top two cards for aquarius please tell me when to stop please give me the top two cards for aquarius please tell me when to stop spirit just told me the bottom two cards okay so we're going to go from the bottom okay gotta listen to spirit okay can i just do that yeah okay bottom two cards Interesting. Please tell me when to stop. Now, that does it. Okay, Spirit said that does it. Okay, so on the bottom, the first one, what do we have? Venture. Nice. Very nice. Okay, and the next one, what do we have? We have Black Sheep. Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting so far with what came through in the crystals. I'm definitely feeling like with this adventure card. You may be wanting to set out on some kind of adventure here. Do some kind of new project or go somewhere. And it doesn't mean that you have to actually go somewhere, okay? Um, but it could be start, you know, a new hobby, new project, whatever. But it's some kind of something new, something fun, something you have a desire or passion to do. And it may not be something that Let's say other people in your family, uh, just for an example, they may not understand you. They may not get you. You know, they may be looking at you like Aquarius. Why are you interested in that? You should be doing this over here. And you're like, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in this right here. Okay. So it's like, if you can see in this card, this, this is supposed to be, let's see, this is supposed to be a house, right? You see the expression, like, on the family member's face, if it's a family, right? Angry, agitated, like, what in the world, Aquarius? And here you are sitting out here, and you're like, okay, I'm the black sheep, I get it, but I'm not interested in this right here. 
I want to do this. Just please be careful at this time because of what I was seeing. There's some kind of trickster energy. Be careful about scams right now at this time. If you are planning on going on vacation or something like that, make sure that you go through something that is authorized, some kind of authorized dealer or something like that. So that you don't get scammed okay all right spirit holy divine where would you like for me to go which this deck okay thank you what would you like to tell aquarius thank you okay we have one that slung in the floor hold on just a minute okay all right so these i do not read in the reverse life source when life comes to a standstill Turn inward. So that's that's where I was seeing you frustrated at the rabbit, okay? The standstill. So when life comes to a standstill, turn inward and focus on joy and excitement. Your inner light keeps everything alive and moving. Yeah. Look at what 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 is your focus? Like what what's going to make you happy? What's your passions? Okay, spirit wants you to focus on that. And the next thing we have is energetic pull. A true master knows that you create through your actions. Yes, do not hesitate when you feel the energy pulling you. Follow it fearlessly and move worlds. Love that. Okay, so let's put these over here. More from this deck? No. Okay. Where next? Which deck, please? Oh, here. Okay, thank you. All right, what for Aquarius, please? What's the most important information for Aquarius? Thank you. More from this deck, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. More from this deck, yes. Spirit has a lot to say, Aquarius. Thank you. More? No. Okay, we're done. For now, anyways. Okay. Where would you like for me to begin, please? Here. Okay. Thank you. This one came out on its own. I'll read that alone. Okay. All right. What do we have? Okay. So we have the Knight of Cups. Aquarius. It looks like there's some kind of offer that could be coming in towards you here. Now, normally this card, you know, if, if you're looking for love, this can mean a love offer. Okay. But if it's not that for you, um, this could just simply mean an offer. Okay. A very, a, an offer that would be, um, like overflowing with excitement for you. Okay. We're next here. Thank you. Do you want this in reverse or upright? Upright. Yeah, and see, we have the lovers. Okay, so, again, if you're not looking for love, okay, this could be uh, a business partnership. This could be a new friend, okay? Uh, this could be a new job. So, just take it how it resonates. But there is an offer coming in for you, Aquarius. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, okay, so let's go to this card. And what do we have? Yeah. So we have the death card. So some kind of ending of a cycle here in a rebirth. Ah, I see what's going on here. This is the wolf. Okay, Aquarius, this is the wolf. So this is either just happened or is happening now or getting ready to happen. Okay, however this is going to play out whenever you see this. But this is the star card. Okay, so what's going on here is so that's why this is the card that came out. The star card flipped out by itself. Okay, 
So here's what's going on. So someone offered you something here. Okay. It looked, it seemed like the perfect job. It seemed like, oh, this is a great person. It seemed amazing, incredible. But something happened here. It had to come to an end. You see, there's a moon here in this card. And there is the light of the moon. It's also shining here. Something wasn't something or someone wasn't being presented clearly to you. There was some kind of illusion, some kind of mask. Okay. So something ended, some kind of cycle ended or will be ending. If you haven't hit that point yet. And when it does, You're going, to, you're going to be starting a brand new cycle. And the thing is, when you begin taking action towards healing from this, because the star card for me is always about healing first. And once you take action towards healing, then you begin to have all kinds of opportunities. All these stars are opportunities, okay? But you have the North Star. You have one that is like, the universe saying here, because you successfully went through this situation, you saw that it was not good for you. You released that and you began taking action towards healing. You didn't hold it all inside. You began to let it go. All of a sudden, the universe is like, good job, Aquarius, because you did that. I'm going to give you something awesome, but you have free will. You can take any of these options you want, but I'm sending you something amazing. Okay. And then we have reverse or upright, upright. Yeah, we have the world card. Definitely creation of something new, creating something amazing out of something that ended here, a cycle that ended. It's like a cycle ending here that helped you gain clarity on the situation. And by gaining that clarity and choosing that North Star or that option that the universe is handing you, Aquarius, you're going to be able to bring in something new, birth something new here that is absolutely incredible, something that is your passion, your desire. Because the universe knows your passions, what makes you happy. Okay, where would you like for me to go next, please? Here? Okay, thank you. Okay. What else for Aquarius, please? Thank you. What do we have? Yeah, Queen of Cups. Okay, is this Aquarius? Other. Okay, so Aquarius. There is a Queen of Cups energy that is this North Star that Spirit is bringing towards you. Okay, this is, if this is a person, if that's, if you're wanting a person, whether it's love, whether it's a business partner, a friend, whatever, this person is very compassionate. This person is very loving, very motherly, or the uh, if it's not per se motherly, it's like a person that would really um, take care of you, really care about your needs, really care about like... If something's bothering you, they would really listen. It's a person who has been through many, many hurtful challenges, whether it's physical pain, emotional, mental pain, um, but they've been through a lot and they have healed from a lot. And therefore now, you know, this is an owl. Now this person has a lot of knowledge because of what they've been through. 
And you see the moon is illuminated behind this owl. And in this situation, I feel like it's like um, there's some kind of um, something that's being illuminated. You know, the mask is being removed in a situation in your life, being able to see something clearly here. And it's like now there's this, this person with this beautiful energy coming towards you. Okay, coming into your life. Now, if it's not a person in any way that I mentioned, it could be that dream job. Okay, it could be that job that you've applied for that you, you know, like really cares about their employees. Um, it could be, um, it could be being accepted to something like some kind of healthcare school, like nursing or physician school or something like that, where you would be caring for people. Um, but there's some kind of beautiful energy here that's coming into your life. For some of you, this could be a new pet as well. Okay. Spirit, more from this deck? No. Okay. Where would you like for me to go now? Here? Okay, thank you. All right. What would you like to tell Aquarius, please? Does Aquarius need to know? Okay. This one? Yes, more from this deck. Yes, okay. What else for Aquarius? Okay, thank you. Okay, anything else from this deck? Yes, okay. What else? Thank you. I know it wasn't these, that was me. This one? Yes. This one. Yes. And these. Yes. Okay. I always like to double check to make sure that it is spirit and it's not me. Okay. So these two came out together. We'll keep those together here. These are separate. Okay. Now spirit, this one was in the reverse. Do you want this one in reverse or upright? Upright. And what do we have? This is the six of cups. Okay. So for some of you, um, again, if you are looking for love, this could actually be a soulmate, uh, a soul tie that is coming toward you. Uh, now, some of you, it could be someone that you went to school with or you grew up with or someone you've known for a very, very, very long time. Now, it could be. This card can be about like reminiscing about the past. Okay. Now, um, I don't, I don't look at this card as someone from the past coming back at all. It's thinking about the past. Okay. Um, so some of you could be reminiscing, but I'm not feeling that's what this is. I'm feeling because of what's coming through in the reading, I'm feeling it's actually a person or a situation that's coming towards you that is either a soul connection from a past lifetime or someone that you have grown up with in this lifetime or knew some way somehow when you were a child or just past childhood now, if you're not looking for a romantic or friend type relationship, okay, or a business partner, then this could be something that you dreamed about doing when you were a child, okay? It could be a passion, something like that, like with this adventure card. This could be like a new opportunity, a new job or something like that. Um, that you always dreamed of doing when you were little, 
Okay, think back to that time when you were a child and you used to dream of doing something cool, something that you would still love to do today. I feel like that kind of opportunity is coming in for those of you that this is for. Okay, where do you want me to go next? Okay, here. Okay, so we have these two. All right, so reverse or upright, upright, and we have King of Pentacles. Okay, and we have Ace of Wands. Very good. Okay, so this, if this is a person, you have a King of Pentacles that is coming towards you. So this is a person who is very financially stable or at least has a very solid, sturdy foundation that they are building up on. Okay, this is a very grounded person. Uh, this is a person um, who is also, they're, they're kind, yes, but at the same time, um, they like to build, okay, as far as like wealth. They like to build things. They like nice things. They like luxury, okay? And they're also a very loyal person. You see the dog here? They like to have what they want, okay? And with the Ace of Wands, this is definitely saying, y'all, if this is a real, like romantic type relationship, um, this could be like a very hot and steamy type of relationship, okay? Now, if it's not romantic, then it's just saying this is a brand new beginning, and the Wands are all about your passions, Okay, so this could be a person, place, or situation coming in that will give you or at least help show you how to get that solid, sturdy foundation. Remember, Aquarius, in the beginning, in the crystals, I was seeing you looking frustrated at the rabbit, right? The abundance. So this could be a mentor for some of you coming in. Some of you could be taking some kind of training or classes. But whatever this means for you, there is abundance here. There's, uh, it has to do with your passions. It's going to make you very, very happy. And it's also going to teach you how to proceed forward to where you're going to be very productive and live your passion. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Yes. Okay. Spirit wants to take me back to this deck. Thank you. What else for Aquarius, please? Thank you. All right. This one too? No. Okay. These? Yes. Okay. All right. So we have where there is hope. Don't believe that past defeats or disappointments will help you from succeeding. True success grows from the lessons. A hopeful heart never gives up. Yes, 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 yes. Very nice. Okay. Then we have heart path. It's not worth pursuing a path without passion. Are you kidding me? It's what we've been talking about. This road will only lead you to uncertainty and frustration. Follow your heart and you can't go wrong. Spirit is really pushing you towards living your passions, your dreams, your heart's desires here, guys. P pursue happiness. Never apologize for what brings you joy. Only you understand where you truly belong. That's this card here. Only you understand. People at the house, they may be angry, frustrated, not understand why you like or want to do the things that you do, okay? doesn't matter. Only you understand where you truly belong and where you can find your safe space. Follow your bliss, Aquarius. I don't think this could have ended any more perfect for you. All right, that's what I have for you, lovely Aquarius. I am sending each of you so much love, happiness, and all that is beautiful. May you have an extremely blessed and lovely week, my friends. Bye-bye.